yards, the assassin, and Coco, Coco Samoa. Boy, the assassin is really, really, he is hot. He is ready for Rip Oliver in any town, any time. And he was ready tonight. And uh, I think that if they could have stayed in the ring, we might have had a different outcome. But uh, both men were counted out outside the ring. Oliver retained his championship belt. But boy, both of these men, uh, you saw how bloody the assassin was. Well, Rip Oliver had plenty of blood on him, too, when they, when they finally ended up back in the dressing room. Oh, this was something else. Mike Miller back in the ring. We're awaiting Ricky Santana. We're all leaving a one fall apiece. Oh, man, there's been so much going on here. Kind of a gun understands that uh, Grandpa Murray is back home watching us tonight. We hope he's enjoying the matches. The gang is here. They're enjoying it in person. Barry Owen has just now joined us in the Crow's Nest, Barry. Hey, Don, I just a lot of people have been wondering about this uh, special match we're having in Eugene Friday night. And it's a six-man elimination. How that works, there's three sides, you know, three men on each side. As a man gets pinned, he must leave the ring and go back to the dressing room. And he cannot return. So it might end up three against one, three against two, or, you know, anyway, until, you know, last somebody gets a fall and there's nobody left on their side. I remember the last time we had a match like that here in the sports arena, Barry. I think it ended up like uh, two against one or something. Yeah. Huh? yeah, it could end up anything. You know, it might come down one against one or it might come down three against one. And whoever's winner, it's a wild match. The wild could last all night. Yeah, yeah it really could. And that's going to be at the sports arena, at the uh, fairgrounds, the Lane County Fairgrounds in Eugene on uh, Friday, next Friday, the 21st. And that all starts at 8 o'clock, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. Thanks a lot, Barry. I know a lot of people have been, uh, they've been asking about that. They've been asking about some of these uh, no disqualification matches. I know uh, in Medford, you're going to have a match where falls are going to be counted anywhere in the building. Should be outside the ring, in the, you know, somewhere in the building, upstairs, downstairs, out in the parking lot, down the street. Who knows where that'll end? That's going to be in Medford on the 26th of November. Mike Miller. Ricky Santana, all even at one fall apiece. This is our main event. Best two out of three falls ago. Oh, boy, that was close. Santana got those shoulders up just in time. And Mike Miller complaining to referee Sandy Barr that maybe he was counting a little too slow. Oh, Santana blocks that with him and shoves Mike Miller face first into the turnbuckle. Santana slow to get to his feet. Miller right there, and oh, just gouged him right in the eyes. Mike Miller just gouging him right in the eyes. Forearm smashed across the back of the neck by Miller. Into the ropes goes Santana. Oh, Santana came off those ropes. He wasn't going to go for any kind of a back body drop. He just dropped that elbow instead right on the back of the head of Mike Miller. Ricky Santana, extremely explosive, and boy, he is ring smart. He can just, he's got so many surprise attacks that uh, his opponent never can take anything for granted in the ring with Ricky Santana. And of course, anytime you're in there with any member of the clan, you've got to be careful yourself. Very, very clever. A double-handed chop by Ricky Santana puts Miller down again. Santana going for a body slam. He's got it. Now, Ricky Santana going to go upstairs, second floor. Is he going to go up to the top floor? No, nah, he's just going to come flying from the second floor. Boom, just like that. Right on Mike Miller. This could be the one that puts it away. What, Rip Oliver's out here. What's Oliver doing out here, Barry? I don't know. Keep it oh, it, Oliver came in from the dressing room. Referee now sees him, keeping him out of the ring. Santana has seen him. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? What is this? Mike Miller had some powder or something. He threw it in the face of Ricky Santana. What in the world's going on here, Barry? I, I tell you, I, I can't believe it. Did, what the heck is that? Did Did Oliver throw uh, some powder to uh, to Miller? Or what? I don't think so. I was watching Oliver. I couldn't see what the heck happened. Here comes the assassin. Yeah, we got people uh, people throwing things in the ring. 
Uh, that's that's not good. That is really not good. Let's see what the heck is wrong with Ricky. Oh, man, he looks like he's blinded. Yeah, Ricky, uh, Ricky is blinded. The assassin is in there with Ricky Santana. Mike Miller. Now, whether rather Oliver came out here and threw him something, or he had it in his tights, we don't know. But he had some kind of powder, uh, some kind of chemical that he threw into the face of Ricky Santana. I remember this happening one time before, and uh, the man was blinded for uh, for uh, something like that. He put a man's eye out, and he'd never be able to see again. That's terrible. That, I don't know. What, uh, well, what the heck is the whole clan doing? You, you just never know. We've got, we've got uh, people surrounding the ring right now. Uh, we may have to get a doctor in there, uh, Barry. Uh, I'm going to go back and check and see what the heck is going on. Again. Okay, Barry Owen going to go back to the uh, dressing room. The assassin is out there with Ricky Santana. You saw what happened. Uh, and, boy, it just... Uh, took all of us by surprise. Barry, in fact, was up here in the crow's nest with us. Had no idea what in the world was going on. All of a sudden, powder just flies out of the hand of Mike Miller into the face and eyes of Ricky Santana. That is so unnecessary. That's not, that's not a sport. That's, uh, and that's not, you can't even say that's acting like an animal because an animal would not, would not act like that. That's, uh, that is, so ridiculous. Ricky Santana being helped out of the ring and back to the dressing room. The assassin is there to help him. Uh, referee Sandy Barr is there. We've got some security people. Looks like they may be bringing him up here to the crow's nest. If so, we'll have a chance to uh, talk to Ricky in just a couple of minutes. In fact, we'll be back with Ricky and the assassin right after this. <laughs> 